Hey guys, I'm Mezzi and welcome to this quick start guide for Mythic Neltharian's Lair. Neltharian's Lair is one of the old expansion dungeons joining the Mythic Plus dungeon pool in Season 2 and should not be confused with Neltharus. First up is Rock Mora. When all the crystals are on the ground, don't move. You'll only be damaged when you're moving. As soon as adds spawn, kill them immediately and don't stand in the puddles when they die. When the boss casts Shatter, he'll deal damage to the entire group and this damage is increased by any remaining add that's alive. And lastly, tanks face the boss away from the group, so only you're hit by the Razor Shard's cone. Next is Ularog Crag Shaper. When the hands from Strike of the Mount is spawned, move out of them before they slam into you. When Bell of the Deeps is cast, spread out and kill the totems that spawn. Meanwhile, tanks will be dealing with a large hit from Sunder, which you'll simply have to heal through. And lastly, when Stance of the Mountain is cast, the boss will summon four totems and turn himself into a fifth totem as well. When he does this, the totems will start moving. Be sure to keep an eye on which totem is actually the boss. When they stop moving, kill the boss's totem to end the phase. Until the phase ends, rocks will be falling on your head, so stay spread out. The third boss is Naraxxus. Move away from others when you get the rancid moth circle on you. You'll take damage and leave behind a puddle. Now on the PTR the puddle was invisible, but that's obviously a bug. Either way, don't stand in the puddle, and if you can position the puddle so that ads will walk through it, great. It'll slow anyone who stands in it. Which, speaking of ads, worm speakers will spawn. Kill them before they reach the boss and buff it. Meanwhile, the boss will put a poison dot on the group with toxic wretch and put green puddles in melee range. Don't stand in these. But tanks, you do need to stay in melee range or the boss will AoE the entire group with putrid skies. While this is going on, the angry crowd will be throwing rocks at you, dealing damage to random people. Tanks, when Spiked Tongue is cast, run far away from the boss. She'll try to pull you in and eat you. And just like the ads, if she eats you, she'll get buffed for the rest of the encounter. And also just like the ads, you can use the ranged puddles on the floor to slow you down. Lastly, at 20% health, the boss will enrage, dealing increased damage. The last boss is Dark Gruul the Underking. Move out of the swirls that crystal spikes will spawn from. You'll need these spikes to counter two different abilities. When the char skin adds spawn, kill them. And if you're the fixate target, let them run through a spike to stun them. Tanks, tank the boss faced away from the group and the spikes. The cone landslide will not only kill your group, but also destroy the spikes. And additionally, landslide will knock you back, so don't stand directly behind lava. And that's not all. After Landslide, you'll be hit by a second tank buster called Molten Crash. Tanks, you should also know that you want to move the boss as little as possible. Every time he moves, he does damage to the entire group with Magma Breaker. Lastly, at 100 energy, the boss will deal a massive AoE. Move behind the Crystal Spikes before he reaches 100 energy to hide from this. When the cast finishes, he'll leave behind a large puddle of lava, which will also start dealing AoE damage for the rest of the fight. And that's all you need to know for the Neltharian's Lair bosses. If you're interested in the breakdown of the important abilities on Trash, check out my Trash Overview Guide linked in the description. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can also follow me on Twitter at wow underscore weekly and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.